Hello everyone and good morning from the west coast. I'm here in Santa Monica at the famous Santa Monica Pier. Uh, this is the amusement park that is seen in more TV shows and movies than really anything else out there. I've been here once before, but it was, man, a long, long time ago. The roller coaster wasn't even here, so I had to come back and ride the roller coaster. In this video, I'm also going to show you everything, all the rides there is on the Santa Monica Pier, as well as any other fun stuff I might find in this area. I go by the legend, and let's go check things out. And here's the very famous neon entrance sign to the pier. And as you can tell, it is quite the popular destination. And it makes sense today. Today is a very beautiful day. Uh, temperature's probably in the low 70s. Nice and sunny. Good day to come out to the pier. The ride section of the Santa Monica Pier is known as Pacific Park. And the entrance is a really cool sign with this octopus type guy. Let me start off with the main attraction here, and that is the West Coaster, the very gentle and iconic roller coaster. Um, very, very gentle, kind of like a mine train roller coaster, except the, uh, one thing I do like about this, the, the ride vehicle is like a classic car. Uh, the theming in the queue has some loose, like, Route 66 stuff, as uh, the Santa Monica Pier is famously the end of Route 66. And they do send you around twice on the roller coaster, which is nice. Uh, the roller coaster is nothing really to ride home about, but riding a roller coaster on a pier next to the beach, there's always a little bit of fun to that. For the ride with the best view in the park, it gotta be the famous Ferris wheel. Uh, I would say this Ferris wheel is just busy at all times, as it's in like every single TV and movie. Here you can see the park's Sea Dragon. This is a ride I believe they recently replaced the, the ride vehicle on it, and the old one is going on the roof of the City Museum in St. Louis. Notice this until I'm standing in line for the roller coaster. Look at the feet on the Sea Dragon for the supports. That's so cool. The shark theme Kill the World is so cool. Scrambler looks like it moves pretty well. I also love the positioning of this, where the Scrambler sits in the helix of the roller coaster. This ride's called Pacific Plunge. The park's 44 foot tall, family friendly drop tower. Uh, probably just a really cool view of the beach if you're facing this way. What we're looking at now is called Gyro Loop. And it's a very interesting attraction. It's an upcharge attraction, ten dollars, ten dollars, and it's a a ride where the guest controls it themselves. So you have little buttons on the side that could make you uh, hold your ride vehicle or let it free spin, and then the other one would control like how much you're moving all the way around. So this is one you can make as crazy or as not crazy as you want it to be. So as you can see with this rider, they're going for a little bit more of a wild ride on the gyro spin. Or at least they were. Oh, no, maybe? Maybe. Yep, that's a wilder ride. These rides, they're, they're really neat. This is a smart use of space. They've got adult bumper cars and then small little kid bumper cars. Pretty fun little kids jumping boat ride. The gentler rides, they have like, a frog hopper for the little ones. Uh, always fun. A little kid's plane ride, very similar to like a Dumbo. But I think the, uh, the highlight is there's a seagull type guy as a lifeguard that spins around on top. Look at him. There's also a kid's spinning balloon ride. As you'd expect with a pier park, there is no shortage of midway games. All sorts of things you can win. I like this one, you can win like NFL and MLB fan masks. Let's talk a little bit about pricing here at the Santa Monica Pier. If you want a wristband to ride all the rides, it is $40 for anybody over the age of eight. All the individual rides are priced right here. A lot of kids' rides are around $6. If you want to do any of the more adult flat rides, they're $8. And then the two main attractions, the Ferris wheel and the roller coaster, those are both $12. They also sell an annual pass, and um, that, that's interesting. Away from all the other rides, which are all down here, right at the start of the pier is where you can find the merry-go-round. And inside the building, you get a wonderful, classic 
1922 PTC carousel. Cool building, I can tell it's built for a carousel. Great thing to have on a classic beachside pier. Uh, if you follow the pier to the end, there's also this really cool kind of small playground with like a dragon skull and a ship. Also not a surprise to find a good size arcade. Very popular arcade. Interesting thing to find here, there's a trapeze school where you can learn to do different kinds of circus acts. So you want to go on the flying trapeze? 72 bucks. Yeah, that would be an experience. There's also a fair amount of uh, restaurants and bars on the pier. I had to put Seaside on the pier on the video because look at their mascot. It's a pizza holding not one, but two beers. Like many touristy areas, they do have a bubblegum shrimp company right here on the pier. Of this, there is a small stand that sells all Route 66 stuff as it's the, uh, the end of Route 66 and you can even get by a certificate of completion if you've done the whole thing. That's a, an epic road trip I want to do someday. There's two epic road trips I really want to do. Uh, one is the Route 66 road trip and the other is the Bourbon Trail. And that'll do it for my time here at the Santa Monica Pier. A good time. Nice to finally ride that roller coaster. And if you have any questions about the Santa Monica Pier, let me know in the comment section below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Also, I've got a question for you guys. This, this pier and this roller coaster, that Ferris wheel, they're in so many movies and TV shows in the world of pop culture. When you see this, what comes to mind right away? For me, there's two. I'm not sure which one comes to mind first. Either Grand Theft Auto or Mr. Bean. Let me know which one you think of. Uh, could be I mean, any of the hundreds that have been filmed here. All right, and thanks for watching.